Razvan, if IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, I'm delighted to have with me Olympian himself, Fraser Clark. Fraser, how we doing, mate? Yeah, I'm all good. You know, um, happy, smiley as usual. Christmas time's coming. It's big Fraser, happy man. You mean it's eating time? Yeah, eating time. That's, no, I can't even eat too much. I got, I got a big year next year, so this year I'm going, I'm going easy on the food. Uh, Fraser, obviously I bumped into you a couple of weeks ago, I think it was on the Richard Riappo, uh fight night in Wembley yeah, yeah, uh, and right. I said let's do an interview, like no, 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 not yet, not yet, <laughs> let's wait for a few announcements, announced I believe yesterday, no, you, today. oh was it today, I can't remember, you know what? What? I'm going to ask you the first interview I've done, I've literally, <laughs> just, I've literally just come from Sky now. Big announcement, you obviously joined forces with Boxer and Sky Sports, I know there must have been a lot of other parties interested, let's not talk about those parties, but why did you choose box and sky sports i think you know the platform was a big big bit to, uh, to play with it big part of it um you know i had conversations with everyone you know financially business wise it made sense you gotta remember i've done this i've done this business for a long time for nothing for, for nothing just for the pride of my country and, and and team gb um it was time for me you know to to finally like try and look after myself and my future my family's future so i had to make the best decision for me I feel like I've done that and you know I can't wait to get started it's a long road ahead I've got a lot to learn but I'm excited for it I know Eddie Hearn mentioned about he was then talked to all the Olympians that came out uh, from the Olympics what was it generally about Sky just the platform the fact that they're the biggest platform out there yeah I spoke I spoke to Eddie you know I had multiple conversations with him met up with him as well um, you know and there was literally no hard feelings a good guy um, you know wish me all the best and and stuff like that um, but you know with Sky like, I, I felt like um, the platform was really going to guide me and with my personality and the way I am I, feel like, I just felt like it, it fit better with Sky do you know what I mean um, they're going to make a big deal of me like obviously they are doing um, and I feel like that, that's where I can really excel myself sell my story sell myself and obviously showcase my still skills and, and make my way to the top of the game the fact that Sky are almost rebuilding now obviously that long relationship with Matchroom ended do you feel like do you feel like it's the right time now? Because they're looking to build the next superstars on their platform. We obviously, we saw Richard last week. We saw the Azim brothers last week. But they're looking for that next superstar, that next pay-per-view item that they can take to that next level. Yeah, well, when you mentioned the name there, the, the Azims, oh my God, how good were they last time? Do you know what I mean? They're absolutely fire. I'm, I'm fans myself and Richard as well. Um, but I feel like they're in a position like that. I was gutted. You know, when Matt Troon left Sky, it just made, like, it just made things like awkward because... You sort of, before that, you sort of knew where you wanted to go. And then all of a sudden, um, come out of the Olympics, you know, I spoke to everyone. Um, Frank Warren, uh, Matt Troom, Sky, uh, Wasserman, um, some of the guys at top rank. You know, like, I've had conversations all over the place and I feel like that's what I had to do. But I've sort of windled it down and, you know, I've ended up at Sky and I'm in a good place, a great place, good people and, um, you know, hope they can guide my career in the right way. You train in the great gym of Sheffield in the Olympic gym, the GB setup there. Obviously, you train with Anthony Joshua and others, Lawrence Okoli, Boatsy, etc. What's the trainer situation? Who are you going to be training with? Yeah, so that training situation was fantastic, and them coaches have literally changed my life. They made me the person I am today. I started there as a 17 year old boy and left a 30 year old man with two kids and a family. Um, they've seen it all, you know, and, and you know, so much respect for them and what they do for young people. The way they change their life and guide them through life is unbelievable. But now I've, I've made the move, not, not far, I'm just down the road at the M1. I'm in Loughborough at the university, training with Angel Fernandez. And I have a fantastic team around me. They're, they're literally covering everything. Um, you know, the SNC is fantastic. The, the mentality of the people in the place is fantastic. It's full of athletes, full of winners. And that's what you have to uh, surround yourself with. You mentioned there, 30 year old man. So you're not going to get any younger. Similar to Joe Joyce, it is, is the intention to move as quick as possible. You're on the heavyweight division, you don't have a lot of time. I know heavyweights can go on until 37, 38, but I'm sure you really want to make some noise quickly. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear this 30-year-old, this 30-year-old, that. I'm 30, but I'm, I'm, I'm fit, I'm healthy, I feel good, my mentality is good. You know, I've got no, no, no problems, I, I'm just dedicated and, and love the sport of boxing. So 30, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the best version of a 30-year-old that I can be. I feel great. Um, the age is just a number, and I know people say oh, only old people say that, but no, I'm just saying that because I, I feel like a professional now, and the, the name is in the title, professional boxer. Five years ago, I wasn't a professional. I didn't know how to how to live the life. I didn't know how to do the things I needed to do. Now I understand what I have to do. So now is the right time. Um, Thirty, 
you talk about Joe Joyce's route, his route was his route, mine will be mine. And I don't feel like I need to rush. I've got a lot to learn. People, I've seen too many mistakes where people say, oh, this guy's Olympic, this Olympic, that. Getting the pros, it's a different game. People just crush and burn. I want to do it the right way. If it takes one year, two year, three year, four years, no problem. I'm going to keep myself in good nick. I'll be ready to fight all the time. You mentioned, obviously, you were with Sky. Signed that contract only today. Have they said when you'll be making your debut on, on Sky and Boxer? You no, know, there's nothing confirmed yet. You know, um, I like the look of the, uh, the Brooke Kahn bill, you know. That, that looks good. It's Manchester. I'm a United fan. Um, that, that, that would be a great one for me. And, and you know what? I like both of the fighters, so I think it'd be a good night. So hopefully I can get on that card. If not, you know, it won't be shoot too far after, definitely. Just finally, the heavyweight division is thriving. Obviously, anti Joshua. I know we took that loss with Usyk, but you've got Joshua Fury's here tonight at the event. Uh, Dylan White making noise. It's it's a buzzing it's a buzzing division here in the UK, but just generally internationally as well. Who is the top of the tree? Everyone talks about Tyson being the lineal champion. You know Joshua better than most people. You sparred hundreds of rounds with him. I just want to ask you about that fight with Usyk. Can he overcome and defeat Alexander Usyk? He definitely can do, there's no such thing as can't, he definitely can. Is it a mammoth task? Absolutely, he's a great fighter, Usyk. Uh, Joshua has to be his best to win that fight. But can he do it? If there's anyone that can do it, he will go and work and he will get the job done. It's going to be difficult, there's no doubt about it. But yeah, the top of the tree, you have to say Tyson Fury, man. At the minute, he's untouchable, he's unstoppable. So, you know, just credit where it's due, he's the best. What do you make of the whole Dylan White situation, waiting around for that mandatory shot? I feel sorry for him, man. You know, like, it's a fucking... It's a mess, really. You know, like, if, if I was him, I'd be super pissed. And I imagine he is. Just give... He, he's fought his way to where, where he needs to be. So just let, let the man fight. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, I've, I've learned over the last 12 weeks, boxing is very much a business. So um, I, I understand that, you know, it is what it is. Um, but he deserves he deserve the right to fight for the World Championship. Just finally now, ending this, uh, what are you going to bring that the fans could look forward to to the heavyweight division? Um, what am I going to bring? I've got a good... You know what? I'm, I'm quite good to watch, so I'm told. Maybe I need to tidy up my defence, but that's why I'm good to watch, because I get hit, I hit and I get hit, which I'm trying to sort out, but, you know, I'm going to bring a lot of energy, we'll have a good time, but most of all, we just, we just fight and enjoy it, you know. I want to bring good nights around the country, not like, you know, nothing depressing, smiles always. I'm not here, you know, for the titty tatty fights and all the, the East Enders style bullshit, you know, the build up. Forget that. Just just keep it genuine. Let's compete. Let's see who's the best. All right, Fraser, thank you for giving me a few moments of your precious time here at, at your call. I appreciate you, my man. No, we look forward to this tremendous journey that lies ahead with Boxer and Sky. And yeah, let's see where we end up. I appreciate it, man. Take care. Fraser Clark for IFL TV, thank you very much.